Hey everyone, welcome back to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite video games of all time, Dark Souls. This game is not only a masterpiece in terms of its gameplay and design, but is also incredibly addictive. In this video, I'll be exploring why Dark Souls is so addicting, and why myself and millions of others can't stop playing it. There's something special about these games. Something about Dark Souls that just draws me in. Something about the game that just makes me come back to it. I don't know what it is. I wish I knew. I wish I could tell you why I continue to play Dark Souls over and over and over again. There's something about these series that makes you want to play the game. And it draws you back. Today I want to talk about Dark Souls. The first reason why Dark Souls is so addictive is difficulty. The game is notoriously hard and it's not uncommon to die over and over again in the same area. That's what makes it so rewarding. Every time you die, you learn from your mistakes and get better. The, fe the, the feeling of finally defeating a boss that has killed you countless times is incredibly satisfying and keeps you coming back for more. Dark Souls' gameplay is one of its defining features, but sets it apart from other games in the action RPG genre. As its core, Dark Souls is a game that emphasizes skill-based combat, exploration, and player choice. It's a game that rewards players who are patient and strategic, rather than those who charge in without a plan. The combat in Dark Souls is deliberate and methodical. Each weapon has a unique moveset, and the player must learn how to use it effectively to defeat enemies. Timing is crucial, as each attack and dodge requires careful consideration. The game also includes a stamina system that limits the number of actions a player can take before needing to rest, adding an extra layer of strategy to combat. Dark Souls exploration is also a major part of its gameplay. The game is designed as an interconnected world and players are encouraged to explore every nook and cranny to discover secrets and hidden areas. The game's level design is also notable, as each area is intricately crafted to offer unique experience and challenge to the player. Player choice is also an important aspect of Dark Souls gameplay. The game offers a wide range of weapons, armor, and magic spells, allowing players to tailor their character to their preferred playstyle. Players can also choose their starting class, which determines their starting stats and equipment. These choices can greatly impact how the game is played and allow for players a higher degree of replayability. I think the fourth thing stands out about Dark Souls as a rich and deep lore that is woven into every aspect of the game. You'll discover the story and the world through item descriptions, NPC dialogue, and environmental storytelling. The game doesn't hold your hand, and it's up to you to piece together the lore. The sense of mystery and integrity is incredibly addicting, and you'll find yourself constantly searching for clues and trying to unravel the game's secrets. You really are fond of chatting with me, aren't you? If I didn't know better, I'd think you had feelings for me. Oh no, dear me, pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> Dark Souls also has a deep customization system that allows you to tailor your character to your playstyle. You can choose your starting class, level up specific stats, and equip different weapons and armor. This gives you a sense of ownership over your character and makes you invested in their progression. It's addicting to see your character become more powerful and versatile over time. As your character grows stronger, so do you. And I think the game really plays on your mental state, you know? Because diving into this game is not for the weak. It's hard. It's challenging. It pushes you to your limits sometimes. Now, I've beaten all Dark Souls. I've beaten Dark Souls 1, I've beaten Dark Souls 2, and I've beaten Dark Souls 3, plus all the DLC. And I will tell you, 
that every game is unique in its own way. But there's something about customization in Dark Souls that makes you come back and want to play it over and over and over again. No matter how difficult the game is, no matter how challenging you get, no matter how much it wants you to throw your controller or keyboard and mouse out the window. Whatever console you're playing on, whatever PC, or whatever it may be you're playing Dark Souls on, whether it be a handheld Switch or a Steam Deck, the game is fun. It's addicting. And it has its own sense of drawing you back to it. There's something special about Dark Souls and... I don't know. It's, it's not like any other game. The only other game that I ever got addicted to in my life was League of Legends back in Season 2. And look, come on, you guys all know that feeling when League of Legends was was new, right? I played the game for over 10 years plus. I wasted a lot of time on that game. <laughs> um, spent a lot of money on skins and different characters, but it doesn't compare to Dark Souls. Nothing will ever compare to these games, especially the Soulsborne series in themselves. But customization is amazing in this game. I think the second thing, and another reason why Dark Souls is addictive, is the exploration. The game is set in a massive world, filled with hidden paths, secrets, and treasures. You're constantly being rewarded for exploring, and you never know what you'll find around the next corner. The sense of discovery and wonder is incredible, addictive, and you can spend hours just exploring the world. In conclusion, 
Dark Souls is not just a game. It's an experience. It's a game that challenges you both mentally and emotionally. It's a game that requires you to think outside the box and come up with creative solutions to difficult problems. It's a game that pushes you to your limits and makes you a better player. But what makes Dark Souls truly addicting is a sense of accomplishment you feel when you overcome its challenges. When you finally defeat that boss that's been giving you trouble for hours. When you discover a hidden path that leads to a secret treasure. Or when you piece together a crucial piece of the game's lore. You feel a sense of satisfaction that is hard to replicate in other games. Now I get it. Dark Souls is not for everyone, but for those who are willing to embrace its challenges. It's a game that will stay with you long after you finish playing. It's a game that has inspired a passionate community of players who share their experiences and insights, and it's a game that continues to influence the video game industry to this day. So if you're looking for a game that will test your skills and reward your perseverance, Give Dark Souls a try, but be warned, it's a game that will consume your time and your thoughts, and you may find yourself addicted to its challenges and rewards. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in Lordran.